Well, is this signing about box score or box office? It's about box office. It's an easy one. And I mean, Tim Tebow can't possibly disagree. Mr. Box Office himself. I mean, there's yeah. nothing to talk about here. I mean, listen, when you look at Cam Newton, let, let, let's pay attention to this, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> Cam Newton didn't have the greatest year last year. Even though he completed 65% of his passes in the 15 games he played for the New England Patriots, mm -hmm. we all know COVID was crazy last year, really, really interrupted and threw a monkey wrench into the 2020 season, NFL season. We got all of that. And then, obviously, he lost out on the job uh, to Mac Jones this year. Cam Newton has never been an elite passer. He's been an elite athlete. He's been an elite performer. But he has never been the most accurate passer in the world. Let's understand that. The reason why that's important is because when you look at this situation with Carolina, if he was, and if they had believed in him, they would have never let him go. Now, in fairness to Cam Newton, in 2018, they were off to a 6-2 and two start. Norv Turner was the offensive coordinator. Cam Newton looked absolutely phenomenal. He hurt his shoulder in that ninth game, I believe, against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they proceeded to lose seven straight because he was never the same. And he ultimately sat out for the rest of the season after about a five, six game losing streak. His shoulder was jacked up. We got all of that. He hadn't been the same since. When you look at Cam Newton now, considering that essentially when you really, really think about it, he's about two, two, three years removed from really being himself. Why would Matt Rule in Carolina bring him there? The dude is beloved. Now, I went to Winston-Salem State, just an hour away from Charlotte, North Carolina. I frequent Charlotte often. The city loves Cam Newton. He's an iconic figure in that town. You know, his philanthropy and everything else that comes with it, the guy's a sensational person, has done a lot for that area, means, uh, 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 just means the world to those folks. Mm -hmm. They love this brother. Right now, they're 4 and 5. Their quarterback <clears throat> played horribly over the last several weeks in Sam Donald, even though they do have some talent. DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, and those boys, Christian McCaffrey, the, 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 just a stud. At the end of the day, when you look at Cam Newton, there is no question this is about box office appeal because you're going to come see Cam Newton. You're going to talk about the Carolina Panthers because of Cam Newton. They're going to be on your mind constantly because of Cam Newton. Make no mistake about it in that area. <clears throat> he's that big of an attraction, and that has everything to do with why he's there right now. Dang, Stephen A., we, is it ready for commercial now? Molly, do we still have time at all or no? He likes to play ball control. We, oh, yeah, we're still good? good? No, hey, we're good, hey, we're good. Oh, hold on. See, Stephen A., we, we got to back up. We, Stephen A., we got to back up for a second because, <laughs> hey, a lot of people might not have caught it, but I caught a little jab you threw in there about the, uh, yeah, the, the old box office. You know, hey, okay. maybe it was, but I do remember one box. I, at least I remember one box score against Pittsburgh. I, I don't know, but it's just. Hit my my memory. So hey, we're, we're, let's get to Cam Newton, Ike though, Taylor okay, Stephen A. I still haven't forgiven Ike Taylor for that. I still haven't forgiven him. Go ahead. Let it go. <laughs> let's get to Cam Newton and what Matt Rule said. And I think there's one thing that he said that is so vital and critical and important. Okay. Healthy, healthy, healthy. If Cam Newton is healthy, he's still special. I really believe that, and I believe that he's been training like crazy for an opportunity. And is he box office? Yes. But that doesn't mean that he's not box score. I believe with the talent around him and the third, their, their defense has a third best efficiency, seventh best scoring defense. It's a really good defense. They still have playmakers. Now they need to adapt the offense a little bit to him. You know, it's a, it's a new scheme. It's a new system. He's going to have to come in and learn. That might take a little bit. But I still think he's so different than everybody else that he still has a chance to be special if he's healthy. I don't think that, that Matt Rule and the Carolina Panthers said, hey, we're just going to go you know, sign this guy to fill seats. I think they said, hey, we evaluated him. We believe he's healthy. We did our due diligence. And if he can be even close to what Cam was in the past when he was healthy, he can still be special with their playmakers and with their talent around him. And remember, they're not that far out of it. They're right out of the playoffs right now at four and five. And you have the few teams in front of them, like New Orleans, that's trying to figure some things out. Obviously, Tampa's playing extremely well, and, and they're a really good team. But there's still a chance that this team could make a run and possibly make the playoffs. Well, I'll tell you this. I won't disagree with you there. What I would say specifically is that the next four weeks are going to matter. After Arizona, which is this week on the road, you got the Washington football team, the Miami Dolphins, and the Atlanta Falcons. 
If you got anything yes. left, you should be able to show it Those over the next all four winnable weeks. Games. And if he doesn't, it's not going to be all good. All winnable. Yeah. All right. Do you think they have a chance to make the playoffs? I give them an outside chance. I just don't like their chances. I'm just looking at the rest of the NFC, considering what's going on in the NFC West with Arizona and L.A. in the South with Tampa and New Orleans in the North with Green Bay. Uh, you know, obviously the NFC East, they got an outside shot, but it's an outside shot. Yeah. You know, I would even I would even say this: if Carolina could make a run with their defense and Cam Newton being able to being healthy with their playmakers around him, if they could make a a little push at this thing and get into the playoffs, I don't think they would be a team that a lot of people would want to see with their defense, with how mm -hmm. Cam Newton can control the game physically downhill. Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore. Man, I, I just don't think a lot of teams would want to see them in the playoffs either. That could be a dangerous team. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.